right, here we go. Alrighty, welcome back to Papa Bear's Kitchen. Today, uh, I'm going to make a Southwestern favorite. I'm making menudo today. Let's see, where should I start? And what I've got here is a pack of beef tripe. And uh, if you're offended by tripe, you might want to end the video. If you're interested, stay tuned. So I'm gonna, this has been washed already, rinsed, and I'm going to cut these up into uh, nice bite-sized pieces. And I always, uh, my older son, years ago, when he was small, he asked me, how big do you cut the pieces? And we were making something else, and I said, how big is your spoon? And he put the two and two together, and he said, oh, okay. So you make, if you have little spoons, make little, little bite-sized pieces. If you have a bigger spoons like we do, make big pieces. But I'm going to cut this up, and I'm gonna, I'll be using my pressure cooker today. And I um, hope everybody's doing well, as always, taking care of yourself, taking care of your loved ones, friends, family. We're doing okay here in the bear cave, eating good, working. Staying busy, staying active. Uh, I've got a pretty happy household. It's been like that for quite some time. We rarely ever, if ever, fight or argue. Rarely. And, um, you know, that's nice. It's nice to, I think, for my, my kids growing up, you know, they, they didn't have to see arguing or fighting or fussing or silent treatment or anything like that and uh, they're pretty well adjusted young young guys and um, I think uh, one of the contributors to that was that when they were small when they were still babies I had read an article that if you put um, classical music on for your kids and have it going in the background that it uh, stimulates their their minds first and teaches them music appreciation whether they actively learn or not and it just contributes to a peaceful household and that's what we have now very quiet very peaceful there's times we get rowdy and have a good time and uh get together and it's mostly uh, telling jokes, you know, we'll joke and just get carried away and laugh and laugh and laugh. And that's uh that's a good rowdy. You know, you hear about all these places where there's tension and strife and arguing and fussing and fighting all the time. And that's not good. It's not good for your kids. It's not good for yourself. It's not good for anybody. But, um, what I'm going to do for this video, if uh, if you've reached this point, what I'm doing is, uh, like I said, I'm cutting up the tripe. This is beef tripe, and it's uh, it's a pretty good deal, fairly good deal. This is the uh, liner for my uh, pressure cooker. So the meal traditionally. Uh, when I've grown up, this would be put on like in the late afternoon and let it in the slow cooker and let it just cook all night and sometimes even till noon the next day until it's <laughs> eatable. <laughs> but uh, I tried it before with my pressure cooker and it takes about an hour for this all to be nice and edible soft because the tripes themselves they're pretty chewy and if you don't cook them long enough oh my gosh it's like chewing a chewing a mouthful of rubber bands so I've got that done and I'm gonna cook this with uh, some onions and I've got a pretty decent sized onion depending on what part of the country you're from. 
might be a small onion if you're in Florida or California. It might be a tiny onion if you live in Hawaii. I've seen the avocados from Hawaii on this one cooking show. They're huge. They look about, to me, it looked like a football. And the host of the cooking show was laughing, saying, oh, this is a Hawaiian avocado. And the audience got a kick out of that. But I'm going to use half of this. I'm going to put half in the pot. And the other half, I'm going to leave uh, so we can sprinkle it on if somebody wants extra, extra onions. And, you know, I always, I've said before, I don't, I don't care to talk about politics on my channel, but, you know, everybody's got an opinion. You know, it's, it's fine. It's what America was built on is everybody having a voice, everybody having an opinion. Um, I think things are a little crazy now but hopefully things will settle down and we can get back to living our lives that the country will open up soon and we can get back to a normal normal country and i've read uh comments from other places uh australia great britain ireland and uh <laughs> they're 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 hoping that uh our country gets back to normal also. You know, um, I'm one of the fortunate ones that uh, I was able to work and keep my job through the, the shutdowns and um, provide for my family and do this YouTube channel where, you know, I can help other, hopefully, help other people to um, make a budget, real tight budget stretch. So I'm going to put this in there in the uh, uh, pressure cooker liner and uh, it's about a quarter of the way full and I already put my onions in there put them in use and what I have here is a uh, red chili this is uh, the Bueno New Mexico red chili and since I live in New Mexico I'm pretty biased we've got the best chili red or green on the planet not that I've traveled all over the planet but in the U.S., we've got the best chili that I've come across. And I've eaten, being a truck driver, I've eaten in just about every state in the U.S. And New Mexico always has the best authentic Mexican food. And it's because of the chili. You can make a simple dish. Fry an egg and put some of our good green red chili in there, or green chili, and it makes it a meal, a feast. Okay. So I'm going to mix that up and make sure it's really, get all these uh, pieces coated. You know, people have their own recipes that have been handed down for generations, and this recipe, uh, I created it myself. For seasonings, I'm going to put some garlic powder, and since we like a lot of garlic, I'm going to put uh, probably about a tablespoon of garlic powder, and I've got, uh, let's see, some oregano. I'm looking at my shelf here. There we go. Nope, that one's empty. Uh-oh. Time to go to the market again. Oregano, oregano. Well, I don't have oregano right at hand, so I'm going to put some basil. I know that's usually an Italian type seasoning, but it kind of carries, it carries through. So some basil and let's see. That's fine. Okay, I've got a little container of uh, oregano here. 
This is from one of the local groceries or uh, restaurants where they serve uh, Mexican food. So I'm going to put uh, some oregano there. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Okay, I'm going to mix that up so it doesn't clump. This is more of a... Um, I think people, a lot of people, families, they just, they just cook this on holidays or during the holiday season. But for us, if we get a craving for it, boy, we'll fix it. Uh, one of our friends was uh, talking about Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving food. And we'll cook that during the, any time, really. And, um, you know, if we get a hankering for ham it's not just for easter or christmas uh we'll cook it at any time we really don't have a, a certain holiday type food since we don't celebrate the holidays we celebrate the seasons the harvest time planting time growing time things like that okay so i've got this i'm gonna go ahead and fill it with uh water and then i'm gonna put it in the uh, pressure cooker and I'm going to pause the video for a little bit, and when I come back, I'll show you the results. Okay, now I'm back. It's been about an hour or so, and I'm going to open up my little pressure cooker, pressure cooker here. I'm cutting up some lemons. People like, uh, some people like to squeeze some lemon or lime in their menudo. <laughs> Just when I pause the video, I forgot to do one crucial step. There's a, this is how many. This is a, a type of corn, actually. And uh, I forgot to show putting this into the crock pot. But this is how many. This is plain, no preservatives or uh, anything like that. No other flavors. And uh, I put it in the pot. All righty. So here we go. I know this doesn't show up on the video, but okay, there's the lemon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's nice and creamy. And the hominy is done perfectly. Ooh, my mouth is watering. <clears throat> there we go. Menudo. Easy to do, easy to make. I know it probably needs salt. Mmm. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So anyway, that's um my recipe for menudo. If you have other um other methods of doing it. This is the easy, easiest way I can think of to do it, the quickest way. It turns out great. It tastes awesome. Like I said, it needs a little salt and some lemon. If you have some nice bread, good bread or rolls, you dip it in there. Some people like tortillas. I'm not a fan of tortillas with um, menudo. I'd rather have bread that can soak up the juice. <clears throat> So anyway, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'll have this uh, video up soon. And um, everybody be safe, be well, like, share, subscribe. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.